Hi, I am Dan, an acoustic engineer at Larson Davis, and today I am going to show you how to reassemble the AEC-206 binaural test fixture. This video is not for assembling a newly purchased AEC-206, as it will come pre-assembled. This video will walk you through assembling the occluded air simulators and preamps that you may have sent in for factory calibration. Once the AEC-304 occluded air simulators and 426 M11 preamplifiers have returned, you are ready to reassemble. You will need the gasket, washer and screw, the two ear canal extenders, a tube of silicone grease, the artificial pinna, and the 2.5mm hex driver. Additionally, you will need a torque screwdriver, one that can be adjusted to both 20 ounce inches and 40 ounce inches. The ear simulators and preamplifiers are in sets or mated pairs and cannot be interchanged. The labels on the boxes will indicate which ones go together. Once you have paired the instruments, remove the first pair from their boxes. Remove the ear cap pieces from the ear simulator and remount the ear canal extender. Gently connect the preamp and the ear simulator. Assemble the other pair in the same way. Replace the ear canal extender and connect the two pieces. Next you'll want to remove the head from the stand. If needed, remove the neck screws first. Locate the preamp cable with the blue strip. Insert this one on the left side of the head. When we talk about left and right, think of the AEC-206 as a head with a face, where the logo is the face. So it is the device's left and right, not yours. Next, locate the preamp cable with the red strip and insert on the right side. Feed the cable through the ear and down the head. Place the head next to the stand. Measure approximately 6 inches of cable starting from the neck insert and running down, and at that spot gently push the cables into the gasket. Place the gasket on the neck with the cables running down into the cavity. Place the washer on top and insert the screw. With your torque screwdriver set to 20 ounce inches, turn the screw down. Squeeze the slit in the gasket shut as you tighten the screw. The neck insert will be sliding on the edge of the gasket, so liberally grease the edges. Feed the slack of the cables into the head. Make sure you do this before putting the head on. You can risk cutting the cables. If the ear simulators pop out a little, that's okay. Just push them back in. Put the neck screws in and tighten. With your torque screwdriver set to 40 ounce inches, tighten the set screws. These hold the ear simulators in place. The left pinna is indicated with the L in the product name, and the right with an R in the product name. Take the left pinna and push it into place on the left side of the head. If done correctly, the notch at the bottom of the pinna and the notch in the alignment ring will form a circle, as shown here. Then repeat this process for the right side. Align the notch at the bottom of the pinna with the alignment screw on the head. To learn more about these procedures and other information related to the AEC-206, refer to the manual located on the USB drive with your device or online at LarsonDavis.com.